Okay, so this is the final product of the wool inside. And then I'm gonna show you the wool outside. And then this is the final product of the wool from outside. Okay, so I started by cutting out the words bougie and I am going to be placing it in the middle of the wall and then have the Louis Vuitton sign surrounding the word bougie. And um, I went ahead and I literally just went on to um, Google and I found the Louis Vuitton prints and I basically just cut those out. I am going to be transferring it onto this cardstock which I'll be using to um, paint over on this. I use this um cut out little tool thing to get like you know the circles in the middle and stuff like this i literally just got this from amazon it comes with the whole set with the cutting board and everything and it was about eight dollars i think i'll place the link in the description box for you guys if you want so um yeah i'm gonna go right ahead and i am going to transfer my letters onto these pieces of paper so that i can paint over them once i put them on the wall Okay, so now what I'm doing is I took some tape and I adhesed the letters onto the piece of paper and I'm literally just tracing it out onto the paper so that I can paint over it. You'll see what I'm talking about in a few. Okay, so now I've traced all of the patterns and letters onto a separate piece of paper and then I am going to go ahead and use my knife thingy to cut these out so it becomes a kind of like stencil but yeah I'm gonna get right into that in order to make duplicates of each one without with less work per se I stapled another piece of paper underneath and then I stapled it together so basically whatever I do on this page will transfer to the other page so yeah okay so basically what's going on right now is that I am trying to laminate the um the stencils okay but this is like the cheap dollar store version I'm literally just putting tape over them I taped them to the table so then I could pick them up and then just cut around the excess tape um so yeah so I am trying them out on the wall right now this is basically the circle piece that the flower is going to go within this is the LV this is this the little one for this let me see I think I have actual this one See, I laminated it. It's going to go into this one. And then we're going to paint around it. This is the circle for... This is the circle for this flower. And yeah. I finished with my letters. This is how it's going to look against the wall. I have my two um little bee things for my brick. My bougie it's like four o'clock in the morning right now so this is how bougie is gonna look on the wall and then these are like my little stencils and this is me trying it out on the wall <sighs> this is so time consuming i literally made like 10 of each so that's like me taping like 40 plus these little ones all right so this is an update i put my stencils on a wall and then i put um light pink i, I painted like over that. it <laughs> and now i'm putting the other stencils on the wall and i'm positioning it right look at these dumb asses <laughs> okay wait but um <laughs> Ahead, trying to act like they're doing something all right positioning this or putting them placing them on the wall so i can see this like where i want to put it and then paint over it but yeah so these are my stencils that i cut out and then i laminated them with with tape like regular tape because when i, I didn't want to paint it and then the um the paper gets wet morgan that's not straight okay so basically this is what we're looking like i use the stencils well morgan used the stencils 
and she painted over them to get this onto the wall i mean it's pretty self-explanatory like cut out the stencils put them on the wall make sure you laminate them if you want to reuse them and i laminated them with tape so that's going to take a while and yeah now she's just going in to do like some touch-ups on the wall itself where it was messed up a little bit but i'm liking the way it looks overall to be honest like I'm feeling this. That's your YouTube voice? This is my YouTube voice, guys. <laughs> okay, so just to give you a sense of what I was talking about, I'm doing out here as well. So, I put the stencils on the wall, and then we're going to go over it with the paint. And then lift up the stencils, and then, yeah, that's what's going to be left. Like, the, the print is going to be left onto the wall. <clears throat> like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. So, that's why this video is kind of like, I didn't really show everything. Because I don't think you guys wanted to see me cut out the, the stencils. I already showed you everything that I used. So it's literally just putting the stencils on the wall. And painting over it. The most time consuming part of this whole project is cutting out the stencils. Definitely. And also like placing them on the wall and stuff like that. That's a lot of work. You guys have to make sure that you take these properly to the wall because you don't want it to bleed through like even though this has tape on them you have to make sure that the sides are taped flush onto the wall to make sure that it doesn't um bleed through and it just messes up like your whole thing that you got going on but um this is how outside is looking right now don't mind that mess <laughs> this is how outside is looking right now and yeah i'm gonna uh, be back when i'm done all right let me show y'all a little up close of how they look. They're pretty clean for the most part. I mean, it is hard to like get it all the way perfect, but from a distance, it looks real good. And as far as I'm concerned, you don't need to be all up in my wall looking for my imperfections anyway, so. Period.